so Keith and I have been staying here some on the weekends, not as much as we like to, but um, with staying here on the weekends, we have realized that we don't like the layout. Um, I mean, it's fine, but we think we, we can improve on it. So um, we were supposed to be doing a generator shed today. I took advantage of the um, Prime Day deals and got a Generac, one of the quiet generators, easy start, because we have the Champion, but I can't ever start it by myself, and it's really loud. So, I mean, it works fine. We've had it for years, but anyways, we bought the quieter, easier to start um, generator, and we were gonna be building a generator shed, and I was gonna bring you all along for that, but where we've had no rain, and now we were, we're getting a lot of rain. Here in these mountains, it causes a lot of trouble with our roads and everything, and um, Keith got called out to work. So, but I still wanted to use this day to kind of, uh, I was gonna give you all a cabin update and kind of go over with you some things that we have bought um, that we really love. And it doesn't just have to be for an off-grid, uh, settings. It can just be for you to put back like if the electricity's out and it just makes your life a lot easier. So I'll go over all them and I wanted to also show you some things we're going to be doing different here and I'm going to be changing the layout a little bit in the living room. I thought I would show you that and also I bought a piece. I've been looking for a hutch for the kitchen for probably six months now. And my sister-in-law decided she was going to sell hers because she had a couple of them, so I bought it. Now I'm just trying to figure out what color to paint it. Um, I will show you this. This little piece right here is what I want to decorate my kitchen out of. Like, I love the green, the red, um, all that. So... Since the kitchen and the living room are kind of together, I kind of got to tie these uh, colors in. So I bought, okay, so these are my colors I want to be decorating with. So these are like the velvet pillowcases. They are so soft, but I think it matches the green in this perfect. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but if you can see the green on that and that green, perfect. And I bought this color also, and I think it matches perfect too. So that's a win. Usually when I order stuff online, I have to order a couple times to get what I want. But I did order those, and those are just, I'm gonna be filling those. I don't know if I have enough pillow stuffing, but my mother-in-law is a quilter and she keeps that stuff, so I'll just have to visit her if I don't have enough. But I can't decide. Okay, let me show you this hutch. So here is the hutch. I love it, absolutely love it. It is so pretty, it's everything that I wanted because I'm gonna be putting the, um, like I thought I would fill this part with like my canned foods and then down here I could just do like dry storage, but I can't decide and maybe if you guys wanna chime in for me and let me know which one you think. Do I want to paint it this color, like this color right here, or should I go with this color, like the mint green, because my base cabinets right here is, I think that's called a walk in the forest green. So I'm thinking the mint green, I don't know. So this cabinet will be moved. Let's see if you can see it. This cabinet right here will be moved over here and I'm gonna paint it the same color as I paint the hutch. So whether it be the green or the mustard yellow. And so that one, this hutch will be scooted over and it'll be like right beside like directly beside of the stove because this is where the stove is going. 
Then also, I don't know if you've watched any of my cabin videos. I said before that we would have to order our stove and drive like three hours to pick it up. Well, I did contact a local um, appliance store and they actually said they could order it for me and it's just like 30 minutes from here. So, and they said they could get it in for like, in like nine days. So that's great. Um, and what we needed with this, where this cabin will be ran off natural gas and solar, but we are gonna put in like a main line to the generator to um, if something happens to the solar, because we don't know a whole lot about solar. I think up on this mountain, we should be fine, but just as a backup, um, we had to get a stove with a battery igniter instead of electric ignite, ignition. So that was the whole thing. That apparently is something you have to order. Stores don't keep that. I guess there's not a whole lot of off-grid situations or something, or off-grid homesteads anymore. But, um, and plus we, we also made some decisions about this whole area. Um, let me move the living room around. I'll bring you along while I do that, move the furniture around, and I'll kind of tell you what we've decided. Since staying here, um, I feel like when you're in a space, you can definitely figure it out more because, I mean, well, you're in it, of course, but change we're going to be using this wood for the ceiling and then there'll be a strip of tin that'll go or metal will go through the middle where it's flat and it'll kind of break up this it's just the 10 inch i think it's maybe it's the 12 inch anyways the pine boards and also it'll be our floor and we're going to do the floor and the ceiling with this so some of the things we've absolutely loved while building this little off-grid cabin is these little fans. We have a couple of them. I think they're like $25 on Amazon. These things can put out the cool air and they last pretty good. Like if you're going to run them all night, you'll probably get two nights out of them and they charge fairly fast. But see, there's, there's like four different speeds. And then they have a light, pretty bright light. And also they can rotate. So these are would be good even if you wasn't off grid, they'd be good to put up for um, power outages. In fact, I thought I would be buying my kids these as a Christmas present, as one of their presents, because here in the mountains, we do experience power outages quite a bit. But this is one of my favorites. And it has a remote with it also. Something else. 
that I absolutely love. And it's the Blue Eddy. It's this um, 600 watt. This little thing, I watch, if I don't want to start the generator, I watch TV with it. You can get like four to five hours of TV, four hours continuously with it. And um, you can run your lamps, your charger cell phones. And the one thing I really love about it is I found a coffee pot that works perfect with it. And I ordered this little coffee pot. I think I got this off Walmart. It was like $19. And it looks like the little, it's just the two cup coffee maker. You can make coffee twice with your Blue Eddy. If it's charged to 100%, you can make coffee twice with it, which works perfect for us. Um, and this is all, I mean, we have the generator up here. We can, we can do that. We can start it and have coffee as much as we want. But if you don't want to run the generator and you just want a simple thing to just plug in like le regular electricity, this little coffee pot and that blue Eddy is perfect. So if you're looking for something, if you're like me and you love coffee and um, you're looking for something when the power goes out, these are two perfect combinations. Is this little, um, there's, I don't know if you, V-I-E is what the brand is. And it even has its own little built-in filter. You can see we've used it quite a bit. Those and these lights, let me show you these. The lights, the panels just go in the window. You can see the panel, the little solar panel right there. I hope you've seen that. And it's just got, it's got a remote, but I just use the little pull cord. And you always have lights. I think that one was about $29 for that one. It's cute. I always get compliments on it. And these two over here, their cords are kind of bulky, which Keith usually has them better than that. To be honest with you, I pulled them down. He had them hooked up in the ceiling, but I was up here one day and I could not get them. I was doing something wrong. Couldn't get them to come on, so I kind of got up there, I pulled them down, but they work perfect. And they're much prettier when they're hung up. But they provide quite a bit of light. And there's their panel in the window. So, and then you'll see up in the loft area. I don't know if you can see that little light. I'll go turn it on. And let you see. It is pretty good too. So, let's see if you get, yeah, it's pretty light. I had a couple of them up there. And they do pretty good at night. They don't really show up right now. But those light bulbs are pretty good. So electric bills are high where we live. So even if you're not in an off-grid setting, you could incorporate some of these into your home. Um, these little solar lights and maybe help with your electric bill because they're fairly inexpensive. And if you could use these lights, but I'm getting ready, I just cleaned this up and I'm getting ready to have to make a big old mess. I need to clean out the, all the, we, we store all the building stuff in the, what's gonna be the bedroom and the bathroom. I need to get all that cleaned out. So Keith has a clean slate to come in here. We were hoping, it's July now, we we're hoping to get our um, septic tank put in, in August, back in, May, I think we contacted someone to see if they would have time to come and um, they were busy, but they said they would come as soon as they got time. So we're hoping that their time will be slowed down maybe in August and they can come help us with our, with our septic. Um, so we'll be getting hopefully our septic in soon. That's just a tentative date. I don't know for sure if it'll, if it'll work with our schedule, but that will be nice to get septic. We've already got the shower. Case just got to put it in. We've already got water here. He's just got to hook everything up. Just having time. I've always been told, and from the area I'm in, it may be different from where you live, but you know, I'm from Kentucky. You'll either have time or you'll have money, but neither one rarely coincides. Because if you have time, then you're not working. You don't have any money. And if you 
have money. You don't have any time because you're making that money. I don't know. Is that true in your all's life also? Sweaty. I'm a sweaty mess. It turned off to be a pretty day. Goodness. <laughs> Woo. Turned out to be a pretty day after the storms rolled through. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.